हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आई टी गेट कोचिंग डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द इंस्टेंट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माई फ्री लेक्चर So here again, that sigma is zero zero comma one. You have to assume the strings made from zero comma one as a binary number, which when interpreted as binary number is divisible by either three or five. Means they have written is divisible by three or five. Means either if it is divisible by three, then yeah, then also that string belongs to this language or five. Means they have even given that zero divisible by both. This is three divisible by three only. This is five divisible by five only. This is six divisible by three. Okay, so the strings. It means here we have to construct a minimal DFA which will accept set of all strings divisible by either three or five. So till now we have seen only when divisible by three individually and similarly individual individually for five. Okay. Now we are seeing. So let me write some number like zero divisible by both. Three or five, one, two, three. So all these numbers will come as a binary number. But here I am just writing as a decimal. So just to make you understand, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So if I take these numbers, it will Give you an idea how to construct a minimal DFA for this kind of line. So till thirty I am here. Now zero is divisible by both. Now one is not divisible, so you will not accept it. Not accept three. It is divisible by three. It is divisible by five. It is divisible by three. It is not divisible by anything. It is divisible by three. It is divisible by five, so zero belongs to the language three, belongs to the language five, six, nine, ten, twelve divisible by three. Okay. Now it not belongs to the language fifteen divisible by both three and five. So we have got one number zero divisible by both three and five. Fifteen is again divisible by both three and five. Now sixteen not divisible seven eighteen divisible by three nineteen not divisible twenty divisible by five twenty one not divisible twenty two divisible by three twenty three not divisible twenty four divisible by three twenty five divisible by five now twenty seven divisible by three twenty thirty divisible by both three and five. So similarly, if you see, there are some numbers which is divisible by only three. There are some numbers which is divisible by only five, and there are even some number which is divisible by both three and five. So see the numbers that are divisible by both three and five. How to find that numbers? So you you need to find say zero, fifteen, then thirty, then forty-five, then sixty. So it is like multiple of means the numbers which is divisible by fifteen. How? Because if we we'll take the LCM of three and five, the numbers which is so three and five LCM is here fifty. So if we take any number, if fifteen is dividing, if zero is divisible by fifteen, it is then fifteen, thirty. So here you require little bit knowledge of maths. So if you take any number LCM of that, and if you find that number LCM means it is divisible by both three and five. So for this kind of language, whenever they are saying that you need to construct a minimal DFA which will accept set of all strings divisible by either three or five, it means that if it means you need to construct a minimal DFA. First, you need to find the LCM. If you will get the LCM that just just like here fifteen, it means whenever you will get divisible by fifteen, it means it is divisible by both three and five. Now here they are saying there are some numbers. Which is not even divisible means which is only divisible by three. So when it is and only divisible by five. So what we will do? We will construct a minimal DFA which is which will be divisible by fifteen. Now if we divide any number by fifteen, if we will get three as the remainder, like any remainder which is multiple of three, like if we are dividing three divided by fifteen, 
what you will get remainder 3 it means this is a number which is divisible by 3 if you are getting remainder as a multiple of 3 like 6 what is the remainder if you divide 6 it's a multiple of 3 means it is divisible if it is divisible by 3 then that number if you are getting 6 as the remainder then it will be the final step why because it is divisible by 3 but it is not divisible by 5 that's why it is not divisible by 15 now see 9 divisible by remainder you will get 9 so whenever you are getting remainder which is divisible by 3 it means that is divisible by 3 but not divisible by 5 that's why it is not divisible by 15 similarly if I take 5 5 remainder you will get 5 so if you are getting if you are dividing any number by 15 and if you are getting some remainders which is a which is divisible by which is divisible by just take 50 then divide by 50 you will get 5 as the remainder so if you are getting remainders which is divisible by 5 it means that number is divisible by 5 okay and if you are getting remainder which is divisible by 3 it means that number is divisible by 3 and if you are getting remainder 0 it means that number is divisible by both 3 and 5 okay so here you need to construct a minimal DFA which will accept set of all strings divisible by 15 and whenever the remainder is divisible by 3 it is divisible by means then it will be divisible by 3 and when its remainder is divisible by 5 then that number will be divisible by 5 so now we will construct the minimal now we will construct a minimal DFA which is divisible by 15 so you know that when since it is even an odd number so when it is 15 it is going to take and in this kind of problems here we can apply the shortcut it will be valid okay so even it is a odd also then it, it will require how many states 15 states so what will be the states from q0 to q40 okay so first you will write q0 then q1 Q0 and Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7. Then similarly, you will write Q8, Q9, Q10, Q11, Q12, Q13, Q14. So 15 remainders you will get and that will be from Q0 to Q40 and decimal here you are going to get 0, 1, 0. So initial state is going to Q0. Now what the shortcut is saying? Write the states from Q0 to like Q0, then Q1, Q0, then Q1, then Q2, then Q3, then Q4, then Q5, then Q6, Q7, Q8. Q9, Q10, then Q11, then Q12, then Q13, then Q14, then again Q0, then Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, then Q5. So this way you have to write. So after that Q5, then Q6, Q7, Q8, Q9. Q10, Q11, Q12, Q13, and Q14. Okay, so this is saying that remainder 0, it means it is divisible by 50. If it is divisible by 15, it means it is divisible by both 3 and 5. Okay. Now when you are getting remainder 3, it means it is divisible by 3. So you have to accept also the numbers which is divisible by 3 only, 3 only also. See? by 3 or 5. So if you are getting remainders which is divisible by 3 then you have to make this state as final state then 3, 6, then 9, then 12 ok now for 5 also 5 then 10 now see how many final states you are getting so for this kind of questions in gate exam they will ask you how many minimum states you will require so for this kind of question you require minimum states 15 and what is going to be the final step? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 final step you will require and 15 states you will require in minimum DF.